Hello, it's Nestor Tilson here. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to use the command surface split on the back of a cabinet. Uh, this is in answer to a question sent to me by Sean, who has made this uh, three compartment cabinet and wants to put an oven unit in the middle. So, to put an oven in, unit in the middle, we have to get rid of the back in the middle section of this cabinet. Well, how do we do this easily? The easiest way to do this is we go into um, the cabinet edit mode, like this, and we have to put a user surface split command to put a hole or divide the back of the panel into two sections. To show you how the surface split command works, let's just split it into the two. I select the back and then I go into edit and use um, surface split and here we have a surface split command. Uh, by default the surface split command will just divide it into two equal panels and we have here what we call the slack option here and we can give it for instance 400 millimeters and if I put 400 millimeters as, as slack which is in fact the distance between the two panels we will get and equally two, the panel will be divided into two with 400 millimeters between the two and if I look at what this gives here we have a hole in the back of our cabinet well this is okay but it's not exactly what I want what I want is for the back panel here to come up flush to this shelf and the top panel here it to be um, flush to the underneath of this shelf well how do I do that very easily well the easiest thing to do is just to use the polyboard commands that we already have if I click in this volume here, we can see that polyboard in indicates on the side of the volume the exact height in the volume. So I have here 549. I know that, what I know is that this 549 is in fact the distance between the underneath of the shelf and the top of the bottom. So if I want this particular bit of panelling here to go from the bottom of my cabinet, underneath the, sh underneath the bottom, to the top of the shelf, I have to add two thicknesses of boarding to 549. This boarding is actually um, this boarding is 18 millimeters. So if I had if I have um, 549 and I add so 36 millimeters, I'll get 585. I'm just going to note that down. 585. So this boarding has to be 585 long. If I click in the middle volume here, I can see that. The middle volume is 882, 882, and that's if I put the gap here between the two bits of boarding at 882, the top boarding will now be be fixed uh, underneath this this shelf. So let's let's just edit it. I'm going to go into the back here. I'm going to my surface split, and I'm going to choose edit. The choose the bottom panel as a working from the bottom panel choose the slack here, I'm going to give it the slack of 882, which is the distance between, or the height between the two shelves, the height of the, the interior height, shall we say, of the middle compartment where I want to put my oven. Um, the positioning of this particular slack, I'm going to take it as an opposite distance, that is not the distance from the top, but the distance from the bottom. And this distance from the bottom, I'm going to give it to the of 585 which is the distance uh, from the bottom here to the top of this shelf. And I click OK. And now we can see that the back has been split just at the right place into two boards. And we have, if we look into the oven, into the 3D, and we have the unit, which is just neatly without back in, the, in this middle section to put in the oven. And we can see that the boards just line up neatly on the bottom of the shelf here and they also line up neatly on the bottom of the shelf here. So that's how you use surface split very easily to cut out the middle of a back of a cabinet and leave a space for an oven unit. So I hope that's been of interest to you and I hope to see you again in another video very soon. Goodbye.